end of the season, have either management or your agent told you of a possibility of an extension? Uh, I haven't heard from anyone about anything like that. So I think as the summer goes on, we'll you know hear more about it. Same here. Matt, before the season, Rob Blake had said that, well, actually, with both of you guys, but with you in particular, that you were going to talk around Christmas and he hoped to get an extension done. Were there talks during the season, or was it something that you guys pretty much tabled? But just give any idea of how that progressed, I guess. Uh, no, we were just looking to check in around Christmas, New Year's, uh, which we did. And unfortunately, we had a tough January, and you know everything went down with Todd and all that stuff. So. Um, I think that just kind of put a hold on everything, and uh, we all decided just to wait till the summer to see where we're at. And Arga, I imagine your injury situation may have impacted that somewhat. Did you have any talks with management during the season? No, nothing. Uh, like you said, injuries was a big part of my season, so we, I was just focused on that, and I think they, they wanted to let me focus on that too and, and come back healthy, and, and so there was no talks and, or anything like that. And as far as your goals now, are you looking for something with turn where you're at in your career? What's happened? Uh, you know, have you talked about that with your agent at all? We'll see what, what happens. Uh, 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 talk to management here and, and haven't done that yet. So we'll see. We'll see where, where it takes us. Matt, Matt, would you like to stay or would you prefer to explore free agency and then if the offer is good enough here, stay? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm. Uh, I love this team. I love the guys on the team. Uh, LA is a great city, a great place to play. Um, I'd be more than happy to stay. And um, obviously, it's a business for both the team and myself. So you know, we're kind of going into the summer, just uh, you know, open-minded, and you know, we'll we'll see what comes my way, and just kind of go from there. Matt, um, off of that, um, whether or not you can get something done with the Kings, just how important is this contract for you, just speaking a little more broadly and generally, in terms of age, young family, all that, just how important is the, is the next contract for you? Uh, yeah, I think it's very important. Um, like you said, age, you know, I'm at that point in my career where I think uh, some term and stability uh, would be great for, for my family. and. Um, you know, that's a key driving factor for me. And um, again, you know, I'd, I'd love to stay here and make it work, but, you know, we'll see where, where all that goes. Would you guys prefer to get a deal done during the season? Is there any frustration hanging over that, I mean, it sounds like there were really no talks for an extension up to this point? Uh, I mean, I don't want to speak for Ari, but I think it's nice uh, if, to get something done. You know, it kind of takes the stress away. Um, but it can also be stressful trying to play through you know, negotiations and stuff like that. So, um, again, you just kind of take it as it is and you just try to focus on playing and take it day by day. Victor, you were dealing with obviously a lot of injuries throughout the season. You had to, you came back and then missed some more time. That second time you missed, was that related to the previous injury? Uh, no. no, it's completely different. Is that something that you're going to have to deal with in the off season or are you feeling pretty 100% right No, now? that's 100% now. I, I wouldn't have played in the playoffs, I think. And, and Play those down the stretch if I wasn't 100%. So, and it's, it's good. Harvey, how satisfying was it personally to be 100% after that second one and be able to get all the way through after how difficult those first few months were? No, it was it was it was awesome. And the first five games after the second injury was kind of, I was kind of scared and, and I didn't know where, where I was gonna go. And uh, obviously it went good. And I I'm appreciative of the management and. and the trainers and every, everybody that helped me through the year and, and my family too that, that's been supporting me. It sounds like, Victor, it sounds like you'll be able to do your regular full thing of training. Yeah, I'd be a little focused on, on different parts that I that I had surgeries on and, and stuff like that. So it's uh, it's it's going to be a little bit different, but uh, uh, so. Yeah. How, difficult, how difficult was the season for you given the way it unfolded? And, Learn something about yourself and how you went through it and, and faced those difficulties. Uh, good question. Uh, I I think it was hard for me when they went through that stretch, or when we went through that stretch in January, and, and with, with coach getting fired, and and I wasn't really able to to help out and and, and be a factor 
on the ice and, and in the room and I think that kind of stressed stressed me out a little bit and I was coming back to a new coach uh, a little bit new system stuff so it was it was kind of stressful for me uh, I to be honest Victor, have you heard anything from the Swedish Hockey Federation about the World Championship? Uh, I'm going to talk to them today, so we'll, we'll see where we where we end up and, and how how things are going to plan. But uh, my first priority is just to take care of my body right now, and I got to be ready for for next year and, and see what what that brings. Matt, are you part of the Team USA mix at all? Have they reached out or? Uh, no, I won't be going this year. Okay. Um, one of the as as someone with your background, a seventh round pick who's built out a real, real solid career here. How much pride do you take in the road, uh, in the road that you've taken to now? Um, I mean, I, I'm definitely proud of myself. You know, I've, uh, I think I've worked my ass off for, for a long time and, you know, I'm happy that it's paying off. But uh, at the same time, there's been so many people that have helped me, people in the organization, people out of the organization, my family. It's There's been a lot of people that have helped me get to this point, uh, so I'm appreciative of them and, uh, you know, myself, it's, you know, it's just been a lot of hard work and glad it's been paying off so far. Matt, why do you think the power plays struggled so much in the playoffs when it was so successful in the regular season? Uh, the penalty kill, I'm sorry. The penalty kill? Yeah. Um, I don't know, I think they're, you know, obviously they have the best power play in the league and they have the best, couple of the best players in the world on it. Um, I think, you know, they they had more of a passing mindset. Uh, they looked for a lot of seam passes and uh, our system had a lot of, you know, different two-on-ones that we had to take care of. So I think they did a good job of, of finding those lanes and, um, you know, they just had, a lot of different looks, and um, yeah, they just they just capitalized and buried. Victor, you're going into what could potentially be your last kind of big contract, given your age and your career. Was the fact that you were able to come back and get like a good stretch of games was the playoffs? Do you feel like you were maybe playing for your contract, like trying to prove to <coughs> whether it was a Kings or different <coughs> teams that you could still have an impact and still deserve a maybe better contract? Yeah, that was the plan uh, when I got injured in training camp and. Right before the season started, that was the plan, uh, either to have surgery or not to have surgery. So I decided to have surgery because I knew I was going to get a few games and a bunch of games at the end of the year. And, uh, but I obviously needed surgery, but it was that was a big decision. What, what happened with this injury? Because we, you know, it happened at practice. Obviously, initially it was said it was not injury related. You needed an adjustment. Was there something that, that kind of emerged over time, or did you know kind of right away that it was something that was going to need attention and, and maybe miss a little time? Uh, honestly, I thought it was my hips first and, and stuff, and uh, got kind of shocked when I had my MRI and, and one of the uh, the other discs were were pointing out and almost a centimeter. So. Uh, I was kind of shocked and, and, and in disbelief, but uh, what can you do? Like, I was used to to take it and, and, and work from there. So I, I knew what I was going through, and, and, and Kinger was was awesome in helping me and, and the doctors and everything. So it's been it's been awesome and great. How aware are both you of King's current cap situation? Where to resign here, you would probably have to take a lower cap hit compared to maybe the open market how much would that play into your decision to either come back or test the free agency you know i mean either either uh, i don't know like like i said we haven't talked anything and, or anything like that and uh, me and my family were open-minded and, and we were going to talk through through things uh, as they go in the summer and, and see what what the kings want to do and, and and how the the situation is going to look no, same, same thing. Matt, I know it was an up and down year for the entire team, but it seemed like you and Vlad were playing at a really high level, maybe up until the New York trip. Uh, and then after that, the consistency was around. Uh, you know, what, what made it difficult to kind of recapture that and sustain it for the whole season? I mean, down the stretch last year, beginning of this year, you guys were really strong in shot suppression in those areas. Still good, but a little lower throughout the, the rest of the season. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, 
I think as a team after that New York trip, it, you know, the team dipped a little bit and it's hard to sustain good numbers really in any category if uh, the team's not playing well. So um, I think when the team plays great, we play great and uh, you know, it makes it a little harder when everyone's not meshing well or playing together.